Hundreds of scientists are now urging the World Health Organization to change its guidelines about the coronavirus. There's a new risk that it can be airborne. Lauren Tellerico connects the dots. There has been a lot of talk lately about scientists now believing coronavirus is airborne. But what does that mean and should it change what we are doing? Let's connect the dots. First up, what does airborne mean? Growing evidence shows that coronavirus can travel in tiny droplets in the air, hanging out possibly for hours, infecting people who then inhale that air. That means coronavirus is what scientists call aerosolized. Before, it was believed coronavirus only traveled in larger droplets produced when people coughed or sneezed. The tinier droplets are produced by just breathing or talking. So what does this mean for prevention? The short answer is less Lysol wipes and more masks. That's because larger droplets are, well, large and fall on surfaces, meaning transmission could often happen by contact with a contaminated surface. And while proper hygiene, like hand washing, is still important, now that experts believe the virus is smaller and hanging in the air, masks take on new importance. The other takeaway from this new finding is the importance of ventilation. Being outdoors, especially on a breezy day, is a lot safer than a crowded indoor space with recycled air. Experts also recommend opening windows or running the AC when possible. Connecting the dots, I'm Lauren Tellerico for H-Town Rush.